Woo! It is a little hot, but we got some wind today. Let me show you guys this video real quick. I'm about to head into Dick's Sporting Goods to get some tackle. But something that has sparked my curiosity on Google Maps is something right over this fence. All right, we're clear. Just beyond these bushes is a pretty juicy looking pond right there. It does seem the whole pond is fenced off, but it's not one that I can't jump. Uh, guys, see that ripple? That was a fish jump. All right, I am beyond tempted right now. Let me know down in the comments if I should do it. All right, so more than 400 people said in the comments, yes, go fish it. Uh, this video, this TikTok got over 18,000 likes. So if it isn't already obvious what I'm doing today, got the rods in the back, pond is right over those bushes. And just to make sure that it's not an empty sewer pond, I actually went and scouted it out. I saw some five inch bass near the shoreline and that's already good news. So uh, enough talking, I'm a, I don't see any signs that say I can't fish it. So I guess I'm gonna assume that it's just not really well known. This is about to get really interesting. I probably look really stupid right now, holding some fishing rods in a shopping center. Anyways, we're just gonna try not to stare at anyone. Keep it low key. All right, street's clear. Now, once again, I'm gonna reiterate, I don't see any signs that say you can't fish here. And also, I, like this fence, you know, it kind of gets in the way. So <sighs> I, I don't usually do this, but you know, I think this is just to keep out deer and animals. Um, I don't see any signs. So you guys watching at home, don't go around hopping fences like I am just because it looks good for fishing. I'm actually doing it because it can get me a better fishing vantage point and also because there's no signs that say don't trespass. This is entirely public. If anyone has a problem with that, I'll be happy to talk to them. All right, made it, made it. Let's get the rods. Sometimes the best fishing spots are the ones that, you know, have fences. Good thing about this spot is we can remain relatively low key because of how, uh, oh, my knees hurt. My knees hurt. That was actually a pretty big jump I made. Oh dear, the GoPro's a little low. Okay, anyways, brought two rods with me. Got a Senko and then a topwater tied on. I see, I see some bass right here. So uh, I'm pretty excited. Let's just get started. Okay, top water or Sanko first? Let's go Sanko. Let's test out these little bass to see how skittish they are. I'm throwing a little wacky rig Sanko using a Nico rig hook with some weed guards. Let's see. Oh, dude, they're, oh, dude. Five, six, seven of them are instantly crowded around it. We might have spot, found a really good spot. Stick close to the bank. It's not spook anything. Ooh, there's a lot of this. What do you call this? Grass, cheese, mats. Glad I went with the wacky rig. Originally, I was gonna go with the, oh, there's one. There's one. Sick, no way. That's our first fish. Yes, let's go. Man, that is crazy. All right, you're not really big camera worthy, so we'll just get you back in there, swim off. Tell your buddies that I am here and tell them that I'm offering some free food. See you later, man. I wonder if I throw it right into here. Yeah, that's a bite. Instant, instant. Okay, he's gone. See you, stinky. If that's not crazy, that's, that's my second cast at the spot, which makes me think, where are all the bigger ones at? So far, I'm having the time of my life right now. This is just way more fun than just regular pond hopping. This just kind of has a mix of adventure, but also like, kind of like uh, mixed in, like you're not really supposed to fish here. But once again, no signs, then I, I won't know until they put up some. And we got a nice little tree right here. Got Offering me some shade. Oh, there's one. Ah, little one, little. No, he's bigger than, okay. 
He's about the same size as... Okay, no, 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 we've upgraded. We have upgraded. Okay, okay, okay. So the bigger ones might be out towards the middle, which makes total sense. I think these guys are 100% done spawning. But real quick, get a load of this guy's belly. Dude. Okay, he's been eating good. Okay, you gorgeous fish. I will see you later. While I'm getting rigged up, if you guys want to know what sunglasses I'm wearing, these are Waterland Sobros. These are in the green lens color. If you guys are in the market for affordable yet quality sunglasses, then check out Waterland Sunglasses. And if you're seriously thinking about buying one, then use my code FFTA10 to get 10% off your purchase. Using that code would also help me a lot because I'm an affiliate. Starting to figure out the pattern to this pond. Cast out farther equals bigger fish. Who knows? We might just end up, I don't know, maybe, just maybe pulling out a PB today. Current PB is five pounds. I think we can definitely beat it this year. At the rate at which I'm fishing, definitely possible. Yep, casually just a school of 20 bass. To be entirely real with you guys, I don't see us catching a really big one here. So let's get on move on. Ooh, has to be some fish in here. All right, let me take a quick pit stop. I haven't seen anything over a pound just yet, but that's in the making. Okay, so what if I just drop it like right here? Oh, he's already hitting it. He's got it. Got him, got him, got him. Oh, he came off. There's just way too many weeds in here to pull him out easily. But these guys are severely under pressured. And I think I might just come back sometime later on. Maybe bring a friend. Uh, sneak peek out there. Do I see anything? I do not see any Larkin Giants. Water is also super clear if you guys couldn't already tell. You know what's funny? I haven't seen a single bait fish. The only fish I've seen that a bass would eat would be a little baby bass. Starting to doubt how big these bass can actually get. The best plus to this pond I can think of is that there's literally a Dick Sporting Goods right up the hill. So if I end up running out of Sankos or something, that, no problem. I just go up there, grab some tackle. Oh, there's one. Ah, let go. There's one. Yes. Okay, Sanko just might be the trick for this pond. Doesn't seem like they'll really commit seriously to anything else. See you later, bud. Guys, look at this. I don't know how well you can see it, but those are loads upon loads of bass. Like, look at that. Just, just one place. Here, let me try and get a better angle. Oh, wow. 20 bass easily. For top water, I tied on a mischief minnow. This thing has a little clacking noise and I can work it fairly slowly. So I think this will maybe produce something. We'll see. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, we might've found a really good. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, that was second cast with this thing. Smoked. Oh, chill, 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 dog, chill out, chill out, please, calm down, I know you're hooked, and I know it hurts, but quicker I get it out, quicker you get released, alright, see you, man. There's one. That's probably the best one of the day. Oh, yes. Let's go. Why is he so pink? Yeah, that's the biggest one of the day. <laughs> See you, buddy. Well, guys, I hope you're happy, but I'm glad I finally got some time to uh, hit up a new spot. I look a little funky vlogging on the sidewalk right now, but I think that's about it for today. If you guys want to see me come back here, maybe with some friends, maybe fly fish here, or maybe even target that potential big bass that lives in here, go ahead, drop a like, comment. Without further ado, I'm gonna go home, take a nice cold shower, drink a lot of water, 
I'll see you in the next video. And as always, fish for the adventure.